When Mainers went to the polls yesterday, they elected more first and second generation Americans to the city council and the school board offices than ever before. And News Center Maine's Hannah Deneen has more on this component of the election. Hannah? Yes, it, Cindy and Lee, it was certainly a historic election. Seven first generation Americans were elected to city council and school board offices all across the state yesterday, the most in the state's history. Now, these newly elected officials are born in Somalia, the Dominican Republic of Congo, Ghana, Haiti, Nigeria, Laos, and South Korea. In a, widely, in a state widely considered to be one of the whitest in the nation, some believe the results of this year's election cycle represent a change in Maine's political scene. Today, I sat down with a young woman who is both the youngest person to be elected to Lewiston City Council and also the first Somali American to be elected. She says her election is a sign her city wants more diversity in its representation. If you're not represented at the table, you feel invisible. And, and for a long time, people did feel invisible. 23-year-old Sophia Khalid will be the first Somali-American to sit on Lewiston City Council. I want to be the change that I want to see in Lewiston, rather than just sitting and complaining, oh, like, this happened and that happened. Khalid immigrated to the United States as a refugee when she was just seven years old. She says she was motivated to get involved in politics after the election of President Trump. I'm one of those persons who woke up and said, no, this is not what our country is about. This is our country is about love and welcoming. Khalid says the Lewiston of her dreams is inclusive, diverse, and welcoming to all. Lewiston Somali leaders say the city is far from that now, but Khalid's election is a step in the right direction. It has to be somebody who can walk on the shoes that you're wearing, like somebody who understand the real situation on the ground. So Sophia should be somebody who really has a background, understanding and a passion in the community. Part of her passion is inspiring other young immigrants. Yes, you do belong here. Yes, you do have a place here. And yes, you can be anything that you set your mind to. Even a city councilor. Winning nearly 70% of the vote in the two-way race for Ward 1, Khalid will soon have a say in the direction of Lewiston's future. Khalid says as a city councilor, she will focus on pragmatic issues like building more affordable housing and addressing lead contamination in Lewiston.